Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics Colium. I'm Hansa with yet another interesting question and this time it's on algebra and calculus. So let's see the question. It says x squared plus 2x plus 3 raised to the power x squared plus 2x plus 3 raised to the power x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 20, 22. We need to find out the sum of all real solutions for the given equation. How we are going to proceed with the question? You can notice that in the question, x squared plus 2x plus 3 is repeatedly used. And that is the reason I'm going to put x squared plus 2x plus 3 as a new variable. Why? And the moment you introduce a new variable, you should always write down its range. That is why rewriting x squared plus 2x plus 3 as x plus 1 whole square plus 2 clearly gives the range of y as y greater than or equals to 2. Okay, I'm marking it as the first equation. I have the information about y that it is always greater than or equals to 2. Now let us rewrite the equation in terms of y. It becomes y par y par y is equals to 20, 22. Right hand side is 2 into 1, 0, 1, 1. And obviously just after this factorization, I know that by observation, so we cannot tell the value of y. So I'm interested in finding how many values of y, how many real values of y are there, which are going to satisfy this equation. Once you identify that so many number of values of y are satisfying this equation, we can think about calculating x as well. So I'm proceeding and trying to get how many solutions are there for the current equation, which is written in terms of y. For that, now I'll take the help of calculus. I will assume that y power y power y is a new function of y and will try to get or will try to check whether function f of y is increasing or decreasing or it is taking some dip or taking some maximum value or not. And for that, I definitely need to know the sign of f dash of y. So let's proceed and try to get f dash of y. For that, I'll take log both the sides. On the right hand side, I'm getting y power y ln y. Let us differentiate it. Differentiating it gives me the left hand side as f dash of y upon f y, while the right hand side becomes y raised to the power y upon y plus ln y multiplied by y raised to the power y car derivative. And the derivative of y power y, again, you can calculate using log separately. It turns out to be y power y, 1 plus ln y. So as I told you, I'm interested more in finding whether function f is increasing or decreasing, or you can say that interested in finding the sign of f dash of y. So I just cross multiplied f of y, rewriting y power y upon y, plus ln y multiplied by y power y multiplied by 1 plus ln y. We know that in this question y is greater than 2 and that's why right hand side, the complete right hand side is always positive. You can see f of y is exponential so it's a positive function. It is positive y greater than 2 positive. Log value will also be positive for y greater than equals to 2. Now since f dash of y is turning out to be positive, that's why I can say that the function f of y is an increasing function. Now, since f of y is an increasing function, how is it going to help us in solving the question? So let us proceed and use this information in the equation y power y power y is equals to 20, 22. What we know is y raised to the power y raised to the power y is an increasing function. That's why for this equation, we will have exactly one real root. Exactly one real root. How we can interpret this? At y is equals to 2, the value turns out to be less than 20, 22. 2 power 2 power 2 is nothing but 16. And as y increases, at infinity, it tends towards infinity. So we can say that because the graph is continuously increasing, it's increasing function, we will have exact one real value of y which will be satisfying this equation. Regarding that value of y, it's not possible for us to identify that value of y. So I'm just assuming that lit that real value of y, which is satisfying the equation is alpha. That is, I'm assuming that alpha power alpha power alpha is 20, 22. And obviously we also know that alpha is greater than 
we know that definitely 2 is not satisfying it. So alpha is greater than 2. Okay, but what is y? y we have assumed x squared plus 2x plus 3. So I'm assuming that when y is alpha, x squared plus 2x plus 3 is actually taking the value alpha. Number of real solutions means we need to get solution in terms of x or you can say that we need to get the values of x and after that we need to get the sum of those values of x. So I'm proceeding with this equation and we'll try to get the values of x. But wait, do we need the individual values of x or we just need the sum of the values of x? Because we need only the sum of values of x, I will not be wasting time in calculating individual values of x. What I'm going to do is I'll rewrite my equation over here like this and we'll just check whether this equation will have some real root because getting a real value of y doesn't say or it is not necessary that we will be getting the real value of x as well. That's why I'll check its discriminant. Discriminant turns out to be b square minus 4 ac and since alpha is greater than 2 you will find that discriminant d also turns out to be greater than 0. Now, because for this value of alpha d is greater than 0, definitely we have two real and different roots for this equation. Suppose the two corresponding roots are x1 and x2. And the question says that we need to get the sum of solutions. x1 and x2 are the two solutions of the equation. The sum of solutions from the equation thus turns out to be minus 2. So here is the answer for the question that we have solved. And you can see that how we have combined the concepts of algebra and calculus to solve a difficult question. Well, that's all in this video. Please subscribe the channel and like the video. Until next time, bye-bye.